Welcome back to the Brojo Social Confidence Tip Series, or whatever we're calling it, part three now. And this relates to part three of the workshop where we're going to talk about creating endless conversations, how to just keep the flow going naturally and spontaneously with someone. Now in the workshop, we're going to cover how to do this without any real strategy, how to just use the way you speak and listen to naturally create deep connections. But there is a quick little tip I can give you for those of you who really struggle to keep a connection going with somebody new, somebody who's not really investing very well, or you're feeling awkward and nervous and running out of things to say. And it's called the question and statement cycle. Now the big mistake that most people make when they're trying to build a connection with people is they ask a lot of questions. And they do this to try and elicit information to provide the other person with something to talk about, the problem is it becomes very one-sided, it becomes an interview, right? One person does all the answering, one person does all the questioning. The person asking all the questions isn't sharing anything about themselves, and because of that, no connection can be built. It's very unbalanced. The person giving all the information, they might enjoy doing this, but because they're not learning anything about you, there's going to be no real need for them to spend time with you again. You're just a source of validation to them. A real connection requires balanced investment. So if you're the kind of person who asks a lot of questions, there's a little tweak you can make that can help break this pattern. And it's called the question and statement cycle. And what it means is after you've asked every question and they've answered it, you must make a statement before you can ask another question. Make this a rule that you follow. So if I ask you, say, how's your day going? And you say, it's good. I must say something with a full stop at the end of it before I ask another question. I might say, for example, I oh, say so you're having a good day, me too, full stop. And then I might ask, what have you been up to today? And I can start the question cycle again. But I cannot follow back-to-back -back questions. I can't say, how's your day? Good. Or, what have you been up to? This. Or why have you been doing that? That's an interview. You just add this little tweet, just add some statements in, a reflection on what they've just said. And the whole dynamic will change because now you're sharing stuff about yourself too. In the workshop, we'll talk about what kind of statements to make so that you really share deeply and share your story and allow them to get to know you. Uh, but for now, that's a quick little tip that you can go try out today to improve your connections. If you're more interested in the workshop, you want to go deeper on this, check out the link below. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next one in the series, probably coming at you tomorrow. Cheers.